Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace a cam housing seal. Um, uh, if you see my other video, you know the reason why I'm replacing the cam seal. Uh, but if you want more details, you can check my video on the description below. Uh, and you can see the reason why I'm going to replace it and the other reasons why I am removing all this stuff. The cam housing leak oil leak is a very common leak on DV15 engines uh, you can find it in almost any DV15 engines no matter the year it's very common especially it leaks from this area from the rear here from that area and for the other side and from the sides over here it's very common to find leaks like this in DV15 engines so as you can see the air filter housing and the ball cover are totally removed uh, those are very easy to remove i won't tell you i won't explain you how to remove them those are not that complicated to remove so the first thing i'm going to do to remove the cam housing is to remove these electric plugs i'm going to remove the injector electric plugs here the two of them and this wiring here i want to remove it from the cam housing Okay, all the electric plugs are completely removed. The next step is to remove the injector harness. I'm gonna remove these bolts in here. There are five millimeters. They are all over here. And I'm going to remove this T25 for the uh, J brakes and the injector. I'm gonna remove them all. And then I'm gonna take this clip out like this to remove the injector, lock, the injector harness completely from the housing with the injector harness out of the way the next step is to remove all these fuel lines the six injector fuel lines and the fuel pump high pressure lines these two and the high pressure return line which is this one here all the fuel lines are completely removed as you can see I always place blocks to protect the fuel rail. I want to place other blocks for these ones too. Um, so the next step is to remove the bolts and holes. This pipe on the back, here is a ball. It's really hard to see it. Uh, right there. I already removed it in this case. You can see the bracket over there. And I'm going to remove this other ball right here. Then holds this uh, hose over here, this pipe. You see it here? I want to remove that 13 millimeter ball. Oh. All right, so the two pipes are completely removed, the two pipe brackets, so the bolts are completely unattached. So the next step is to set the timing on the of the engine before removing anything else. So to set the timing, of the DD15 engine, you will need to use this tool. Here is the part number. It comes with this bracket, the Canchap uh, alignment tool, and the pin for the crankshaft. I'm going to grab this pin and I'm gonna go underneath the truck. So, first, I'm going to rotate the flywheel with a screwdriver. And I'm going to align that mark, as you can see the mark over there. I'm going to align it with this frizz. And once it is aligned, I'm going to remove the crankshaft position sensor, which is this one here. Using a T30, you see that ball over there, that's the T30 ball. I'm going to remove it to remove the whole crankshaft position sensor. Once the sensor is out of the way, I'm going to place the pin when I insert it you have to go all the way in you have to go all the way in if it doesn't go all the way in play around with the uh, flywheel until it goes all the way in like this as you can see it's all the way in see so the mark is completely aligned as you can see there so that's the way it's supposed to be now we're just gonna leave the pin right there and now I'm gonna use 
the cam housing tool. One important point before installing this, you have to make sure then the number one cylinder valves are free, which means then the uh, compression is in the cylinder. So you have to set the timing um, on the crankshaft and then make sure that these valves are free. We can continue by placing this in here you can see those uh, crank, uh, crankshaft grooves over there like uh, align tools we can put it right here and we have to press it all the way down if it should go all the way down smoothly like this you can see you don't have to force it only with the hand now i'm going to place the other part of the crank housing tool i'm gonna take it all the way to the back like this I want to insert the bolts okay the timing is set as you can see it is on the position it's supposed to go I'm gonna install this bolt just to secure this uh, front uh, tool um, uh, in here in this area in the Kancha of gear over here in the rear area it has a, like a little mark then you have to align with this if uh, for any reason you don't know the position of the valve you only look for that mark over here in the rear area of the kancha it's like a triangle then points up just look at it and align it with this uh, mark over here and the timing is set with the timing set we can continue the job the next step is to remove all these housing cap uh, balls you see these ones there are 13 millimeter balls uh, these are the ones that hold the cancha over there the two cancha and retain these uh, rocker arms so we're going to remove these three you see one two three in each cap you see there is seven cups in total and each of them has seven I mean has three but in the middle is a 10 millimeter ball this one right here you see there's another one there are seven 10 millimeter balls those don't remove it we're gonna leave those balls because we're gonna pull the whole cam chap housing with all the stuff inside okay all the balls are loose all the cam housing bolts are completely removed and you can see the cam housing is already up you can see it's already disattached from the head you can see the cam housing is completely released the next step is to place a chain on this uh, 13 millimeter uh, bolts over here i want to place the chain on both sides with the two chains on place you can see now i'm going to use the cherry picker to remove the cam housing from the head before i continue i'm gonna mention one important thing this thread over here on the cam housing sometimes is straight so make sure that the ball is tight if you feel that this ball is not getting tight don't hold the chain on one of these uh, bolts over here, these orifices because if you leave the cam housing and this thread is not good you're gonna drop the cam housing and it will break and it's gonna be really expensive then uh, so make sure to uh, double check then the thread of the cam, the cam housing of the ball cover where the ball cover sits this the, uh, the thread is good otherwise hold the chain in a different orifice and a different thread to prevent any problems okay the cam housing is up as you can see now we can move freely the cam housing so we are gonna make its way out of the truck okay the cam housing is out as you can see I have it all the way out here is the head you can see the valves, injectors and the stuff 
uh, in the past I did a video but I didn't actually explain stuff like I, I am doing right now so you can see here are the valves, injectors and these bolts are the ones that hold the engine head bolts these are the ones that connect to the engine block in case you want to remove the head you have to remove all these bolts and all these components around to remove the head this is the cam housing seal as you can see this is the one that goes bad the cam housing seal especially it leaks from the rear area so i'm gonna be replacing the seals see right here it's all dry i'm gonna be replacing the seal and these injector uh, lines seals i'm gonna replace the six of them yeah uh, to remove the cam housing seal you just pull it like this you can see it's all dry see so you just pull it until it gets out okay i, I already replaced the injector seals and here we have the old cam housing see it's all dry this is the reason why it leaks see it's not good at all i have the new cam housing seal uh, I won't give you a part number this time because the cam housing seal varies depending on the year of the DD15. So to install the cam housing seal, please look for this oil drain uh, orifice right here. And we have the same thing over here. So we're gonna start by placing this in this position because it's easier to start from here. And then we're gonna keep following the path of the seal around the cam housing. Okay, the new cam housing seal is on place. You can see, make sure that it's properly aligned on the housing. Now on the head, we're gonna clean this area, clean it very well. I'm gonna remove all this oil and make sure to blow compressed air to the orifices right here, the thread orifices, to remove any excessive oil on them. So remember to do that on all of them. The surface is clean as you can see. Um, now I'm going to apply some silicone here. Uh, I do that to prevent any unwanted leaks. Uh, Detroit doesn't recommend to apply silicone, but I like to apply silicone just as my personal process. Uh, but if you don't want to do it, it's not necessary to do it. So now I'm going to install the cam housing. I want to make its way all the way in the engine. So I want to get it up and I want to make its way slowly until it gets on top of the engine over here. But before doing that, inspect there is nothing in between the gears and the gear over here in the engine double check because you don't want any wanted problems once you install the cam housing once the cam housing is in i'm going to drop it on top of the head 